In this demonstration, you'll learn how to perform simple visual rotation of rotating parts and correctly integrate path lines through that region of the domain. We will be using a 2D model which was solved and directly exported from Fluent using the implicit rigid body motion. The simulation has a fan section which is rotating in a clockwise direction. To make the blades rotate within this steady state solution, select the inlet from the inside viewport. Now select the three fluid parts, namely fluid casing, fluid inlet, and fluid rotor. After selecting all three parts, press on the particle traces menu button at the top. With the window open, select parts under emit from and enter 7 under part ID. This will allow you to specify the inlet as the main part to emit from. Create the selected part and close the window. You can now see the airflow traced all the way to the blades. This is due to the fact that Ensight believes that these are fixed walls. You can correct this by applying rigid body motion to both the fluid rotor and blade parts. Specify the RPM for which the simulation was solved at. In this case, we know it to be minus 2500 RPM. How do we cater to choosing these two values which will dictate upon what is your mesh resolution and flow speed? This brings us to this Excel sheet which is a sort of cheat sheet on what values should be used for the simulation. To begin, input the rotating speed, in this case 2500 RPM. Input 44 as the blade count. As for the outer radius of the turbine blade, input 6.97 E-2. This number is used to know how fast are the extremities of the blade moving. Add 10 under the number of time steps. If you look below, we have a rigid body motion parameter setup section. It outputs rotation speed, total number of time steps, and time of motion, all from the values inputted above. Specify the number of rotations you'd like to see. Your total number of time steps is taken from the blade count and number of time steps per blade pitch. Total time of motion takes into account blade speed to tell you the total time frame needed to get one blade revolution. Notice how our values have changed, showing us what needs to be inputted within Insight. Input 440 as a total number of time steps and 0.024 for total time of motion. A case file gets created since you can only apply rigid body motion to these types of files. The macro goes ahead and creates three new files in your working directory. It is essentially a replacement case file. Ensight will read the new case file. Hitting play will now rotate the blades. You can also create path lines to get a more visual concept of the fluid flow. Select the three fluid parts and create path lines within the particle traces menu. Select path line under type and input 7 for part ID, therefore creating all of the path lines. The majority of the path lines progress through the moving domain. Given the total time entered, 0.024 seconds, this is how long some of the path lines exist. Essentially meaning that this path line here, which stopped, traveled this far within 0.024 seconds. Some path lines hit or bump into the impellers. To correct this, we can either refine our grid or increase the number of time steps from 10 to 20. This concludes this demonstration on how to set up rigid body motion within Ensight.